Ford Transit custom camper van build conversion part two and today will be the insulation on the floor and 15mm pine clad I'll put the first piece going from the side door scroll around the wheel arch there maybe to about here uh, units behind there but I'll, I'll put some floor down there over the insulation uh, moving on from that it'll be the recy dial but recycled bottle cap insulation in there um, the top section there I've got the plastic that goes over the top that'll be carpeted the upper over the cab roof will be insulated and carpeted and from the first bar there on the roof I'm going to come back with a, a pine roof I'm thinking with lighting including the lights here insulated again okay on the floor Okay, that's the insulation for the plywood base on the floor. Okay, that's the foil insulation down all across next job the 15 mil ply you just place basically place that against the head there um, kind of know where I want it to go here mark it across cut and scribe into well basically over the the wheel arch here to the edge of the sliding door which will match this and uh, next section over there side in that's the floor done scribed into the edges there nicely up to the side door for some alloy edge trim um, heavy duty liner on the floor maybe or tiles and uh, alloy edge trim there and something over the back here when it's tidied it's just the insulation to go now Okay, the floor's down. Uh, I'm going to go for insulation now using double sided silver bubble file all across the roof and all of the side panels. And then I think I'm going to go down the route of what I've done before the pine cladding sort of clips in and then as I build I can fit lights and put some insulation behind this I think that's enough to be honest 
there's loads of products out there and it's not an exact science you just need to get it better than it is now you can use sound deadening on these but i think the manufacturers do that they kind of rid the roofs you don't get much on those and when you've got the foil and the recycled bottle cap insulation there you really don't hear much at all massive difference in sound deadening and insulation is good I mean, I normally sleep with the windows in these slightly cracked open anyway you need some air so yeah carry on with this okay, that's a top section done I'm normally just with any of these put some of this in you've got this here already but with that carpeted this carpeted I mean th sorry this carpeted that carpeted and then the roof uh, whatever I chose back from here um, and then basically with this now keep running down I'll go over this and leave, pull no leave those for the feed for the lights um, possibly or go from the leisure battery I think that that's going to be from the van <coughs> um, more of this round here you can go through that to fill you know wherever you can screw into for the roof lining so yeah I'll crack on with this so like that keep going throughout the van the back doors to do the side here below probably to here with this and the this stuff inside up to the center on that one because there'll be a window there uh, I'm going to keep these and run the feeds off them so I've noticed supplies here round spotlights maybe one in the center which will work off the battery so you've got the option of both if a battery goes down um, and a roof vent I'm just gonna have a look into the price uh, and where I can find uh, putting a solar panel on the roof and try and work out where I put a roof vent I'm thinking kind of this one or this one as the cooker will be there The main interior done, roof, sides, leaving the driver passenger side upper for glass. Uh, I've decided to do the two panels here. I'm going to glass those. I've looked online and the transit custom high tops look great, the glass there. Obviously, a benefit rear view. Uh, whilst this off is off, I'm gonna with wax wax out the sides here and uh, yeah, left, right, bottom help um, rust prevention. Not that there's any there, but it'll help. back doors done I'll put windows here and carpets maybe up to the slightly before the rubber there all the way around sometimes I black or grey out the bits that you can see when you close the doors you can't put the carpet too close past this it tends to wick through and look a mess um, uh, the interior is done. Next will be the dial. <clears throat> I pretty much use this product all the time. I 
that's going to be for the inserts here all around uh, the roof as I build the roof or she'll put it in uh, yeah that's next this stuff's really easy to work with basically this you just push it in <coughs> use something to push it into the cavities keeping away from anything electrical or making sure you can get to it more importantly <clears throat> and on the bigger panels I use spray glue literally hold it up against the panel using spray glue on this and just tack it back um, going up to obviously you know the edges there for when the ply panels go on with the carpet whatever then is exposed I go over with carpet uh, I think it'll be that obviously the side there and the top there the headboard I'm going to cut the top off it and uh, so it finishes that neatly um, yet to be thought out I'll get there and uh, this back section here I'm going to carpet cut the carpet there and fold it round and get a, a thin ply piece covered in carpet just on with some clips and clip it over these so you've got access to the you know i mean the stuff there you need access to uh, i'd imagine that's what most people do i've not looked but uh you know, i like to try and think it out myself and then look at youtube uh, and then you realize somebody's done it better but uh yeah go your own way same there um that's been cut out that's been cut out windows i'm going to do the same on the back as well Yep, so this section next finish off doors same again bottom section leave the middle uh, and I'm going to carpet up to where I can get to and then clean the rest up should look good okay <clears throat> so what I do to insulate vans using the double sided bubble insulation and the recycled loft insulation both good products and yeah it's what I use oh, I think that's to me it's all you need keeps the van cool in the summer and definitely warm enough in the winter going off the you know the vans off converted now this one will be warm anyway I'm fitting a 8 kilowatt um, diesel heater to it so okay <clears throat> so what I do to insulate vans using the double sided bubble insulation and the recycled loft insulation both good products and um, yeah that's what I use Oh, I think that's to me it's all you need keeps the van cool in the summer and definitely warm enough in the winter going off the you know the vans off converted now this one will be warm anyway I'm fitting a eight kilowatt um, diesel heater to it so I think there'll be any dramas there <coughs> um, yeah that's about it Apart from, I've got that one for sale, which is a T4 high top, 2.5 TDI, uh, currently March, mid-March 2023, and I'm working on this 2.5 TDI. Both vans excellent, T4s are, really are good vans. Uh, this is a 26, almost a 20, November 2015 registered uh, transit custom. Yeah, can't wait for this one to be done. It's going to be a cracker. Okay, ne next time, uh, carpeting. I'm going to offer up when I've put all of the carpet under the ply panels <clears throat> to see what's left. Uh, obviously, arches may bubble wrap, insulate them, and then carpet them.